Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Ohio Eats, where me and Kim travel to places in Ohio and eat things. In today's episode, we will be reviewing the newly opened Wild Eagle in Streetsboro, Ohio. Now, they have a couple other locations. One's in Broadview? Yeah, it's in Broadview Heights. And there's one other one, isn't there? I think. I think there's. I think it's like one's like in the heart of Cleveland or something like that. Oh, yeah. Downtown, downtown Cleveland. Cleveland. Downtown Cleveland. Yeah. So it's a small chain. There's three. It's a local chain. Um, I actually didn't know until we were getting ready to go and look at the place, but they also have like games and stuff like there. It's not like as robust as a Dave and Buster's, but they yeah. do have some arcade stuff. And and uh and that there. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I mean it's not your it it looks like your typical bar, but it kinda had like a cool rustic feel mm-hmm. to it. I I described it as looking like one of the moonshine distilleries in Tennessee. Yeah. So if you've ever been to yeah. one of those or know what that looks like, you know what the inside of this place looks like. <laughs> Um, yeah, the one wall looked like it was going to collapse on us, but it, it, I mean, it's brand spanking new, so I highly doubt it would. Yeah, we're sitting there and Kim's like, oh, it's really cool. The one, this wall looks like it's going to collapse. I'm like, that's, (laughs) it's really cool. The one wall looks like it's going to collapse. It was like, it's like all rusted and like all this metal and stuff. And it did. It looked like it was going to Kind of like Chipotle, you know, Chipotle always is very... Like, kind of like you're eating in a factory kind of thing. Yeah. But, no, I mean, it's cool, and it feels modern, I guess, that kind of thing. Um, one cool thing that this place also has is it has the, what are the, what are they, the inebriation station? Yeah, inebriation yeah. station, yes. So, basically, here, I'll actually get the card out, because I took it. Oh, you still, okay, yeah, yeah, I forgot that you have the card in your They give you uh, a card. There. And you can put money on it. And what they have is they have these inebriation stations, which are taps. And it has a screen. You you tap your card on it, and you pick what tap you want to try. And they had different craft beers. They had some ciders, mm-hmm. and IPAs, and things like that. And you can try a little bit of them, or you can have a full glass of it if you want to. And you can reload your card. Um, we only put like ten bucks on our cards, so we mm-hmm. each got like just like a little bit. We just kind of want to try. We're not beer yeah. drinkers, but since yeah. they told us they had ciders there as well, we wanted to try some of the things. Yeah. Um, we tried like what five different ones. I think, yeah. Yeah, a total of five different ones. Um, the one with well, a couple of ciders we really liked. Again, not beer drinkers, but just so you know, if you go there and you're not a beer drinker, there are good ciders, so you mm-hmm. could still get your money's worth with the card, and it's fun just to be able to try the stuff. Yeah, and apparently they do change them out, mm-hmm. so. You know, you might go in, like, a different season. Like, maybe in the fall, they'll have more, like, fall flavor kind of things. Or, you know, in the winter, they'll have, like, winter ones or whatever. Yeah. But And it worked really well, too. I feel like, you know, like it, like the machines are new, obviously. The whole yeah. restaurant's new. Um, it, it, so it worked really well and it was really seamless. You just, yeah, like she said, put the card up there, select the thing, hit go, and then pull the handle and you get – and you, and it's really cool. It actually tells you exactly how much as it's as your cup's filling off. It has a ticker of how much money. Yeah. Is being deducted from your cards. You know exactly how much you're spending, mm-hmm. um, you know, as you fill it up. So if it's one you're not sure about, you know, that you're not, you know, be careful not to spend more than a dollar or two on it just to, just yeah. to try it And out. like we, like they were typical pint glasses and I want to say for like two bucks, we got about th- that much in a pint glass. Yeah. It's about like, so, I mean, that's, you know, that's like, like a like quarter. A third. Yeah. Like a quarter of yeah, a glass. Say a quarter, so that's not probably. too bad. Enough, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so like I, said, I forget, I forget we didn't take notes of all of the different um, beers that we or, and ciders we ch- um, tried. I know we tried like the rosé that was like a zeitgeist, something mm-hmm. like that, and a yeah. couple others. But you know, your mileage varies there. Of course, the restaurant doesn't make them; it's just what they have on tap. Um, now, but for actual drinks, because we all, <laughs> we also got cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> um, and let me actually, because this is not, because I have the course, the menu pulled up as I always do, but it's not online. But I, so I took a picture and I'll probably insert a pit, that picture here. If you're watching this in video form, we keep debating on maybe putting this as a podcast as well, because no one ever watches our other podcast about creepy stuff. So like maybe a food pause pass would be better. So if you'd like that, let us know. Um, but you got, I got cowboy yeah, killer, one. which was uh kettle one apple pie moonshine, lemon juice, and simple syrup. Mm-hmm. It tasted like fall. It really it did delicious. taste like fall, yeah. <laughs> um, now, I've had apple pie. I don't know what kind of apple pie moonshine, if it was all smoky or what yeah. brand, I didn't say. I'm not sure. But um, 
a lot of times the apple pie moonshade is a little bit much, but this drink really like you tasted it. But the other stuff like the simple syrup and the um, what else was what else is in it? Le- lemon juice. Oh, and ke- oh, so it also had vodka. Okay, so yeah. it also had vodka. So that kind of tamed that the the pungentness of that flavor of apple pie that the apple pie moonshine definitely has. Now Josh had two drinks, <laughs> which is probably one too much, and Josh is still feeling it. Um, but the first one I got was the bee's knees, which was. Uh, bee feeder, honey, simple syrup, and lemon juice. It was very good. It was um, it did it did it had like a honey forward yeah, taste to it. Yeah, very honey forward. Very um, it was uh maybe a little bit citrusy. I don't know where the citrusy from. I actually don't know exactly what kind of. I could look it up, but whatever. The bee feeder is, <laughs> it's bee feeder. I don't know how you're supposed to say it. I just want to say it as bee feeder. I always said it as bee feeder. I mean that's how it, that's how it's spelled. But anyways. Yeah. Um, and then the second one I got um, was the Annie Oakley, which was um, Bacardi, Ocho Rum, Strawberries, Pineapple Juice, Vanilla. It basically tasted like a pineapple upside down cake in a glass. It was really good. It was it was very, very good, and I enjoyed that drink a lot, and their drinks were strong. Now, their drinks are a little bit expensive. Um, most of them range from, like, the most expensive one on here is 13 and the cheapest is 7 but, like, Kim's Cowboy Killer was 8 and the Annie Oakley was 10 and the Bee's Knees that I got was 8. So they're a little more expensive, but they are well-made. They're well-rounded, and then I feel like they were strong. So yeah, liquor sure. is usually one of the more expensive things you get at uh, yeah. any restaurant. Drinks out of the way, though. Why don't you talk about this appetizer we got? Because Kim was very excited when we saw the menu. and I was. Well, because <laughs> I had wanted to go to the one in Broadview Heights because I knew it wasn't that far from where I live. And I pulled up the menu like months ago and I'm like, ooh, this sounds delicious because I love this. Pork belly burnt ends. Mm-hmm. I love pork belly. It's, I don't care if it's mostly fat. It's delicious when it's yeah. cooked right. It's delicious. These were just little crispy bits of <laughs> yum. Little crispy bits of fat. They were crispy bits of fat. They were very good. They, they were, were basically really, really good. They, yeah, they just were like giant chunks of bacon is what they tasted. Yeah, like. yeah, just yeah. I mean, pork belly basically is like that anyways. And this was just like the essence of pork belly and little tiny nuggets, which you'll little see from nuggets. the pictures here. Yeah, nuggets of fat. They also gave us so what? Oh yeah, because we forgot what was it actually that? Um, okay, that was cornbread. It was cornbread that oh, was with okay. it. We weren't sure. We were like, what? Yeah. What are these little loaves? Yeah, it came with these little flat looking like loaf, like it didn't like rise or something. But it didn't it taste like cornbread. To be like cornbread. I guess yeah, they it didn't was really cornbread. taste. It was like it was good. A it biscuit like and a cornbread yeah, had a tasted, baby, it did and taste more like a biscuit, yeah, yeah, that's basically what this was. And coleslaw. And coleslaw, mm-hmm. and then the, you get to choice. You that you get a <laughs> choice of one of their sauces. Um, we did the Jim Beam barbecue sauce, which yep. is like your standard sauce. They also have some other um, different uh, barbecue sauces that you can choose from as well. Um, we'll get to that in a moment when we get into <clears throat> entrees. Yeah, um, some other appetizers you know that they have here, which um, they have. Let's see, pepperoni wontons, which I want to try if we ever go back, and that's yeah. wontons shoved with pepperoni and mozzarella with marinara served with it. Um, you can get a tender basket, that is what it is, wing basket, um, a pulled pork quesadilla, that sounds good. It has honey, ale, onions in it, and signature beer cheese. That actually sounds interesting that I'm then reading the description of it. Mac and cheese balls um, also sounds good because I did have their mac and cheese, which we'll talk about that again later. Um, kettle chips. Now, what else does this come with? Um, served with creamy French onion dip and our famous beer cheese. also comes with two dipping sauces with those, too. I love kettle chips. Ooh, you get hand, they have hand-breaded shrimp um, with their own chili aioli. And then spinach stuffed mushrooms is what else they have for their appetizers. So a good amount of that. Um, their menu is fairly extensive. They have salads, <laughs> rat, I didn't which even they call know- rabbit. Yeah. I didn't even notice they have a pork belly cob salad. Yeah. <laughs> And they refer to their salads as rabbit food, which is fun. Yeah, that's funny. So it's just a salad with pork. Is it like, is it that? Is it the, oh, yep, it is. House the, lettuce, the burn blend, pork ends. Yeah, shredded carrots. Yeah. Black beans, corn, salsa. Huh. They have a few different flatbreads. They have steaks, like your basic steaks and that. Um, and let's see. But now we'll talk about what we had. I had the Nashville chicken. Um which I haven't had Nashville chicken many places. This was, I feel like it was pretty good. Um, it actually was fairly spicy. Mm. 
which I um, I enjoyed the fact that it was actually spicy. A lot of times they say that the, there it is, and but it isn't. Now, it says, well, that's actually funny. It says it comes with cornbread as well, but I did not get cornbread with it. Yeah, we didn't get any more cornbread. No, I didn't get cornbread with it. We had enough food, but... um. It's supposed to come with cornbread, coleslaw, baked beans, and a pickle, but they tell you, or at least our waitress did, right up front, that you don't have to get the sides that are with it. Mm-hmm. You actually can just get a choice of two sides. So I stuck with the coleslaw because um, we didn't talk about it with the appetizer, but we really did like their coleslaw. It was very freaking good. So I kept that, but then I did the mac and cheese instead of the baked beans, and I thought the mac and cheese was pretty good. I don't think, actually, I think I forgot to have you taste that. Yeah, I didn't try it. No, I forgot about that. I it, forgot about it. It was good. It was kind of garlicky. It could it should have been a little mm-hmm. warmer. It wasn't real warm. Mm-hmm. Um, I've had better mac and cheese, but it wasn't bad. And I liked the fact that they did have like some kind of garlic flavoring in it. Um, so it was pretty good. I wouldn't say that this dish was anything like out of the ordinary. It's kind of what you expect when you get Nashville chicken. I mean, mm-hmm. the menu didn't lead to anything otherwise, but the chicken was cooked well. It had a nice spice to it. And um, and it was good. And I feel like the portion size was good. It was thirteen ninety nine. I got two big breasts and, yeah. and two sides. Um, so I feel like that was very reasonably priced. Now I'll let you talk about what you got, Miss Kim. I got the half rack of baby back ribs. And they are dry rubbed with the house blend. And then you get your choice of barbecue sauces. I did the Jim Beam as well. But then I also got a side of, I got the oh, gut okay. warmer garlic. Yep. Sauce. And, uh, yeah, it was, yeah. It was spicy, actually. It was very spicy. It was, it was actually really chips. good, though. Mm. Yeah. Um, I also got different sides. Um, I got the kettle chips. Mm-hmm. And I got um, coleslaw. Coleslaw as well, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, overall, it they the ribs were really good. Mm-hmm. They had nice pull on them. Um, I thought they were seasoned very well. They were cooked really well as well. So very. Um, I described them as charboil tasting. Yeah. They kind of yeah. like <laughs> they probably put them on like a little bit of a grill or something. Yeah, they yeah. had that like <laughs> how Burger King kind of has that like signature charboil. It had a bit of that, which yeah. you could taste in it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not saying it tastes like Burger King, like as like it's an insult, but it had that. There's that particular part of Burger King burger that has that very intense, yes. which is the only thing I like about a Burger King burger. Yes. So it had that on it as well as a smokiness and this. The meat was good. I it just said they looked like caveman ribs, which you'll see from the picture that I put <laughs> on because of the bones are just so big. <laughs> they were really big, but they were really good and they were very meaty. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so we were both happy with, we were very happy with both of our meals. Now, they have some other stuff on the menu as well. A lot of stuff on the menu, actually, I guess I should say. They have a good selection. They also have Carolina chicken. Um, they have salmon on there with that Jim Bean bourbon barbecue s- sauce. Fish and chips. I actually was thinking about getting this because it actually comes with a Chipotle tartar sauce. Um, I did not, but I did see another customer that had got it, and um, they looked good. Um, another thing on here that we, Kim, actually, you had talked about this, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I <laughs> saw it on the menu and I'm like, what's this chief Eagle platter? And then I'm like, oh wait, it's $38. Well, it's basically all the food. Yeah. Um, it is, let me read this off here for you. A half a rack of ribs, pulled pork, Nashville chicken, pork belly burnt ends, coleslaw, mac and cheese, and homemade cornbread served with your choice of two signature sauces. Yeah. So basically it's foods. all the food. That's a lot of food. On one plate. My God, ribs, pork, chicken, and yeah. pork per, um, burnt ends plus two sides. That's a lot. I would say like maybe if like two or three people were going you definitely and you wanted to that. get something like, you know, I want all the things. Well, I would get this for sure. Yeah. That, that that's um that's definitely a sharing thing between yeah. two to four people yeah depending on hunger you are. I mean if it's me and Kim we probably share just it but you know because <laughs> we we well we did eat a lot and also when Josh drinks he um <laughs> he not only refers to himself in the third person <laughs> but also just cannot stop eating and I I was good I I did save one breast for my Nashville chicken. Um, so you might be thinking, man, that's a lot of food that they had. Well, we also had dessert. But before we talk about that, they also have a whole section of sandwiches, too. Um, these are pretty, uh, basic, I would say. Yeah, they have, like, burgers. They have pulled pork. Yeah. They have a prime rib dip. They have some chicken sandwiches. They have some po' boys. Um, he could have gotten his Nashville chicken as a sandwich. Yep. This um, actually sounds interesting. The saddle stiff, maple glazed bacon, crispy onion ring, smoked cheddar cheese, and Jim Beam barbecue sauce. It's basically a. It's a Bubba burger. 
well, no, it's just it's just bacon. There's not a burger on it. It's just like a BLT, but with um... no, it had a burger on it. Oh, it does have a burger? Yeah. On it? Oh, I didn't realize that. I'd... Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's just a bacon burger. I thought it was like yeah. just like a BLT, basically without the. I thought L that too, the but then I saw there was a picture and it I had see. it had a burger patty on there with the stuff. And I don't think it's I don't, I don't know if it's actually on here. No, I don't see it. But they actually on the back of the menu said a challenge. Do you remember what that was? What was the challenge? Oh, um, it was... I'm trying to see, but there was a challenge, and I know it was like $40 if you couldn't finish it, and it was like a big-ass burger and other stuff. It, the burger had like mac and cheese balls on it and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. I think it had pork ends on it. And... I didn't read much into it, but I assume it's one of those things where if you finish it, you don't have to pay for the meal. Yeah. Um, yeah, you, um, yeah, it's... You pay you for it. You have 30 minutes to complete bill, it. But... Yeah. <laughs> 30 minutes to complete it. You have to sit on the stage, apparently. Because <laughs> they did have a stage with a couple tables. They did. They did. So I guess if you walk in and be like, hey, I want to do the challenge, they'll sit you up there and make you, like, eat it in front of people. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so this place has a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I would never try it. I mean, no. if you're brave enough, you could. It. I think it was, like, 40 bucks. Yeah, it was 40 if bucks if you can't you finish it. can't finish yep. it. Um, you get a t-shirt and your name on the Hall of Fame or something like that. So, I mean, um, if you're up to it, Yeah, I guess. Try it out. Let us know if you've ever, if you would attempt this or if you have, um, if you're in the Cleveland area and you've ever tried one of the other Wild Eagles and done that. Um, and then we did get dessert, as I said. Now, they have three desserts. They have giant cookie, apple turnover, and big-ass chocolate cake. We got the apple turnover, which is described as a warm apple tart served with vanilla bean ice cream. Um, it actually was a pretty light dessert. It wasn't yeah. real heavy, which yeah. was good. <laughs> it was. It was really tasty because it was like it was. It was an apple tart, so it was almost like its own little mini apple pie. And it wasn't like you know how sometimes you get apple pie and it's just like all the cinnamon, yeah, and all the other flavor, you know, all that. All those spices that they usually put in apple pies. This was not. This was very um, vanilla forward, I would have to say. Mm -hmm. Like, it was very tasty. It wasn't overly sweet. The crust was very light and buttery. Yeah. It wasn't, like, real tense. Yeah, because I'm not a fan of crust in anything. Pizza, pies. Well, I've had some real good crusts. I, I don't. But. Blech. This was actually really good. Like, I actually went for the crust a few times. Because yeah, it was, it was really mm -hmm. light and fluffy. Yep, yeah. Yeah, the dessert was really good. All in all, I mean, I think the place was really good for what we had. Mm -hmm. It seemed like a fun environment. It was starting to get busy as we left. Um, yeah. And it was a Tuesday that we went here. Um, and like I said, they had the games and all of that. I really like the idea of this tap station where you just walk up and get yourself your own booze and all of that. Yeah, um, yeah and I felt like the place was pretty reasonably pricey. So the drinks are a little expensive, but that's kind of par for the course with something like this. Right. Um, I'm not one to play games and stuff like that, but I assume once, um, but they also have like live entertainment they plan on having, of course, right now that's not so much of a thing because again, you know, regulations and stuff, the whole pandemic and stuff still going on, but you know, eventually they will, I assume, take the seats off of the stage and, um, maybe actually have performers up there once in a yeah. while. So they also had a really neat outside area. Yeah. No, we didn't sit out there, but when we left, they were on a wait, and they had people waiting out there, and they had, like, these cool fire pits, and there's an outside bar that wasn't um, working at the moment. Right. The bar wasn't, but I assume, like, in the summer months when people are being seated out there, they probably have an outside bar there, and they also did have a few of the taps outside. Yeah, and they were different flavors mm -hmm. than what was inside, which we were kind of disappointed because one of them actually did sound kind of good, and I was like, oh, I wish I had known this was here, Yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. Yep. But, um, yeah, it was actually, like, I kind of look forward to seeing, like, going out there maybe, like, you know, in the summer months. Right, and it's really close, really close. Yeah, so. like, it's, like, less than five minutes from my house, so. Which is, which is nice, yeah, because <laughs> most of the places we're driving a bit to get to, so this place was nice to be like, oh, mm -hmm. and it just opened, so we were like, well, this is a good time to do a review for it, because, yeah. the, you know, viewer, it might be you, be interested in what it is. And the answer is it's very good and you should go. Also, the service was really good too. Our waitress yeah. was really nice. She checked on us a lot mm -hmm. um, and all of that stuff. It was also nice going up and uh, getting beer and then coming back to just the, to have food on your table. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of funny because, yeah. yeah, we were just like, we went up, got our drinks and we're like, oh, look, our pork belly things are here. Yay. And then we went up and again and then came back and there was more stuff. And yeah. it was like, yay. So... 
Um, yeah, very fun place to go to. I highly recommend you uh, check it out. If there's any other place you guys would like us to go and give a review to, um, let us know in the comments section. You yes. can also message us um, if you're just listening to this, if this ever does become a podcast on its own. <laughs> Um, yeah, just let us know where you'd like us to go. Make sure you subscribe and uh, have the notifications turned on so you know when we do upload videos. We're trying to get to the point where we're doing like one of these a week. We have been now for the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.